the last part, we got here to the bubble blowing baby hunt after taking down a lot of very annoying challenges. So, in this part, what are we gonna do? We're gonna blow some bubbles, just like a baby hunt. But, aside from that, hey everyone, it's Master Starman here, welcome back for more. Let's play the Spongebob Squarepants movie with only 3 HP, other than that, 100%. This is where the game starts getting hard, because enemies now take two hits. Otherwise, you have to use the cartwheel. Spongebob, unfortunately, well, actually, no, the next Spongebob level has a power-up right at the beginning, but I don't remember how powerful it is without it being macho and... Er... Macho is... that the part for the upgrade? I really don't remember. I don't remember at all. But anyways, this is the bubble blowing baby hut, which... Er... The, AKA the thug tug. And it's a level that is extremely easy for dumbbells as you see there i just got like a net for crap ton of them right off the bat and the whole premise of this level is to get the key to the paddy wagon back and yeah spongebob keeps on going through this is the second patrick level and uh if you upgraded the spin attack, I never mentioned it yet, one of the benefits of it, aside from being able to kill pretty much every enemy in one hit with it, it also has um, the ability to reflect projectiles, and I think that that enemy there that just shot out, I can't remember what it's called, uh, is what arguably, I think it's the first enemy in the game that actually does have a projectile, so yeah, you can reflect it. Um. So yeah, I'm just going through this level normally. I can't really say much about this level other than it's actually the part of the game where I started to struggle a bit. I didn't really struggle much until the very end of the level. That's when, like, things got really, really rough. And I leave in all my failures because, yeah, God knows I had enough of them. Ah, kind of having, like, slight hiccups here now. I'm trying not to get hiccups, hiccups in this, but yeah. Um, those guys who spin their, like, what appear to be wheels around, those guys are really annoying, and I hope I did not make a, uh, you know, that could probably have been put into a sexual joke, what I just said. But yeah, Disco Star, which is pretty, which is a pretty funny area. And you get up, loads of friggin' up, like, dumbbells here fifth there's like a hot there's like yeah that's 300 for pretty much each square it's not even that hard to get them okay well this is like only 150 so uh 450 so far but yeah 450 things that's like a lot but i do like this area a lot though uh there's 550. Yes, I am counting, by the way. And, yeah, 550 dumbbells. That's a lot. Why would they freaking have so much of that there? But oh well. The Goofy Cooper token. And, uh, like I said, I actually recorded this segment before I recorded the last, like, ring challenge and other thing. That's why I only have 17 here, whereas I had 20 when getting the ring challenge and 21 after getting the macho time challenge so yeah this is also composite video quality it doesn't look terrible but and it's just not up to par with s video so anyways heading on through here and this room patrick has an interesting quote in this room it's um so so this is the place where they make coffee i think I think that's what the quote is, but yeah, aside from that. Uh, this is actually where the first time I actually avoid a challenge. Because there's a combat arena challenge over there, which I don't attempt because... Oh god, you do not want to know how bad combat arena challenges can get with only 3 HP. That first one I got really lucky in and managed to beat on my first try. I guarantee that luxury will not be happening at all later on so yeah I don't know really 
This area is very annoying in general. Um, the smash move can stun some enemies, including the guys who go uh, swing their, that, their like, dog-like eel things around. But, yeah, that's a bit, like, it, they're really annoying to kill them, if I'd have to say this. Yeah, you'll see. I, I just avoid them most of the time. If you want to kill the enemies, though, if you're going for upgrades, be my guest, because they give off a lot of um, thumbnails here. Anyways, hitting that. And I pretty much just... The gears are wide enough to walk across for me. I think the first... Yeah, first treasure chest... Or, no! I thought first treasure chest blew up almost through there. One of the treasure chests in this level doesn't make any sense, and that's why I wait till later to get it. Uh, this here, throwing, uh, yeah, uh, you need to have the throw in order to get that. So, yeah. And when you're done with that, we're pretty much done with the level. There's only a little bit left we need to actually do. Over here, we have a Spongeball Challenge. Which, uh, the last level we had a Spongeball Challenge in was the, um... What was that level called? Um, 3,000 Miles to Shell City, wasn't it? We had one in that level, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I remember it was because there was a lot of lag. Oh, yeah. It's... The concept of this is, like, it seems fine, but it's not fun really that much, because there's no real checkpoints in this, and I, I think they could have done a lot better if, like, if they were basing it off Marble Blast Ultra, which I have a feeling that they were, because, well, I know that game came out after this one, but Marble Blast Ultra, it was a really fun game in my opinion. It was also the first Xbox 360 game I played, but... That game was awesome! Like, it was fun. Like, really fun. I mean, really fun. Like, I, I didn't even think I'd enjoy the game as much as I did, but yeah. Next time I get a points card, I'm surely buying the full version of that. I mean, I, I only have the demo of it, but I did play the game. But I, like, it was like before I even got my 360, I played one up at, like, when I was up in Toronto at one point, and that was the game that was on it. So, yeah, just running through, lots of obstacles to avoid, no checkpoints, very annoying. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, yawning in this. It's already 8 o'clock, jeez. Yeah, today, like, the evening went by pretty quickly. We didn't eat dinner until, like, 20 to 7, which, I don't know why. I really don't. God. Oh well, Goofy Goober token nonetheless, it's not that hard. There's only really one of these that I can actually say is like truly, truly difficult. And you'll see which one that is. Okay, loading screen again. There's a stupid glitch that can happen on the loading screen, and that is that, um, the stupid thing is, is that what can happen is that you can actually, like, the loading screen will sometimes just not load the level. It, it freezes on the loading screen. It'll still be loading and loading and loading, and it just doesn't load overall. Um, I think I go back, because I remember there being, like, uh, yeah, there's, I think there's a treasure chest in this level. I didn't collect any treasure chests yet. One of them is stupidly hidden, which I really hate that one. No, I think it, I think that one actually appears in this room, like, after you, it, it, you have to do a really, really specific requirements, and I think I tried it once and it, like, didn't work well, for whatever reason. I don't know how anybody was supposed to figure it out, but yeah, lots of things here. Oh, God, yeah. If you're watching this, the, the level itself is actually almost over, but... If you are watching this, you can tell that the video is, like, a lot longer. Like, yeah, you'll see what happens at the end. It's 
honestly really, really, really much, a lot of failure in it. So, yeah, avoiding that stupid guy with the turret, I cannot remember. I think his name's a popper, because he pops in and out of the turret, but I don't remember. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's popper, actually, now that I think about it. Yep, we're at the end of the level. And of course, those things explode. And uh, you have the Portal Hero, as well as the Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge, which we can't do anything about yet. It's like the... It's kind of like the... Um, uh, what are they called? The... Um, like the weird steel container things from Ape Escape that you need the boxing glove to get through... To get through that, like... To break them, and they're located like in levels that like are long before you get the boxing glove. Anyways, uh, right here I actually missed a simple starter chest. It's just right through there. Uh, I have 11 right now. I'm not counting. Or actually, no, actually I have 12 right now because of the uh, weird pacing issues with these videos. And of course I die because these enemies like can friggin' overcome you with no tomorrow. Yeah, that guy, I didn't expect him to actually hit me. Ah, oh, God, this is a lot of failure right here. In fact, I, I think I'm actually just gonna stop recording and speed up the, like, video just so that you can enjoy failures at their finest. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop the audio right now, and music time, speed up time. The gates are locked. You'll have to. The gates are locked.